Hello everyone and welcome back to Brittany here in EU4 using the Lex Talionis mod and yeah so uh, last episode again I didn't really do a whole lot of stuff but um, because of this I have actually been looking at some things hold on I want to start call hey I want to start colonizing excuse me I want to start colonizing and for that I obviously need colonial range and the closest um, closest province that I could probably colonize is this one, Eriksfjord over here in Greenland. Um, now this province is 390 distance away and I've actually checked, okay what could I do? I have currently I have 250 colonial range. If I take up two technologies I would get up to 300 and I could take this advisor, actually let's pause for a while, uh, I could get an advisor who gives another extra 20 colonial range but that would only bring me up to 360 which is not enough however if I was to get one two three four ideas which I could um, I would get another 25% colonial range which is definitely more than getting the 50 flat colonial range from um, from what's it called from the uh, technology so it's definitely gonna get gonna give me more but it's not going to be enough anyway, so I had to make the decision if I want to either tech up or use the ideas. And I think I want to do the ideas because not only will it give me my, well, not so important, but still my first national idea, but also it will make every um, technology cheaper. So that's why I'm going to do a bunch of these things. So let's do this. So now we've got a hostile core creation. Very nice. Now we're going to take this one as well, which reduces national unrest. And last but not least, colonial range increases by 25%. So now, we actually have our colonial... Oh, look at this. Our colonial range is 312. Now, if we pick this guy, 20%. I don't know how this is counted correctly, but we'll see. This might actually... Oh, it's so close. Okay, so actually, it didn't really change that much. So with... If I if I had taken the technology, it would have been at exactly 360. This way we're at 362, so it definitely was the better choice, but it didn't really make a difference in the end. Okay, sadly. I guess I could guess we just have to wait then. So no colonizing just now. Damn it. I was really hoping we could do that. Uh, Alright. So we have to wait for admin tech uh, another three years before we can actually do that. It's fine. There's no rush. Natives are still attacking us. That is very annoying. Well, whatever. Um, are we able to integrate you? Not yet. Still have to wait two years. Jesus Christ. Hurry up, man. Very annoying. We should get the enters, uh, end of the year screen again. Which will give us uh, a little bit of points here. 63 points. That is nuts. That is just nuts. I mean, I like it though. Keep going like that. And I've been thinking about, I mean, we're making a decent, well, actually not that much, we're not making that much money because our army is very, very expensive because we constantly, oh, we also got an advisor, right. So th that should help out with the Diplo points though. But yeah, um, I've been thinking about um, actually maintaining, fully, uh, paying maintenance for this fort simply because, you know, it's going to be 50 cents. It's not that much. Um, and you know, in the case of an attack, it will actually help us. What right now we're paying fifty cents, but it doesn't help us. Now we'll pay another fifty cents, and it would actually benefit us. So yeah, I think we should just should just pay for it. Really, I mean, otherwise this this whole fort has no reason. Uh, there's no reason that this exists. And look at this. This guy is really exploring a lot of stuff. I mean, it's the third explorer we had so far. But you know, and we're gonna, we're about to uh, find out about some more native country tribes over here. Yeah, whatever. So it seems like we're going to be the first colonizer, really, at least in the new world. Um, because, I mean, Castile's over here, but they're not really doing too well. And Aragon will seed one, two, three provinces. Oh my god, and Portugal will seed another two. Cardinal across the border. 
Um, okay, so we could get a Cardinal. Uh, but that would piss off France. Uh, I'd rather gain the Spain Masters. Thank you. I need France at the moment. Portugal no longer arrived me. Oh my god. They lost two provinces. Gee. Yeah, Castile is powerful. Yep, Portugal. Well, you suck. Well, in this case, I still rival them, right? Um, yeah, I, I still rival them. I guess next month I won't be able to rival them anymore. I don't know. Who are your rivals then? Uh, lose stability or lose prestige. Um, now, I, I usually... I don't really want to use... No, no. Losing prestige is also bad. Uh, yeah, lose the prestige. I don't, I like stability. I don't want to lose stability. A general died. Very unfortunate. We have negative prestige, but that actually means that we gain prestige every year. So that is also a good thing. Um, another year has ended, so we should now be able to annex Wales, should we not? Yes. All right. Come on, let me annex this guy. At least 175. Recall the diplomat. 19th of January is the next time that we can actually send a guy. And then we'll fully annex them. There you go. That's it for you. Thank you, Wales. Welcome. Well, not just yet, but it will be soon. And I think we will lose legitimacy but gain prestige for that. Annexing them. So next year we can tech up. Very useful. Okay, third day group is at level 13. Okay. Okay, so at the end of the by the end of the year we should be able to or we should have been we should have uh, finished annexing Wales. It's going to be nice. And maybe that will uh, even be enough to to have enough range. And we're very close. We're very, very close. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. Who knows? Uh, lose Diplo power or prestige. Yeah, you know, just lose prestige, whatever. It's fine. Ah, yeah. We can have one more advisor, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. We still have the improved prestige mission. But, you know, whatever. Whatever. We should probably be building some more buildings at this very second. Mm. Oh, we can build a university. Oh, that's not a unique building anymore. Health and education. I like that. A cathedral would probably be a good thing. Local missionary strength. We don't need one, though. A marketplace. I would actually do help. 85. Our truth has ended. But do I want to do this? Hmm. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. And we're capped on manpower, which is a good thing. Do we want to declare war on England? That is actually a good question. This year has ended as well. Okay. Now, France and Savoy would both join us. But we do not have a Casus Belli. Oh, uh, interesting. And Portugal wouldn't join them. Okay, so let's actually fabricate a claim. In this case, on Gloucestershire. Hopefully, we're going to be fast enough. Maybe we can even... Maybe we can even declare war before Wales is fully annexed and then give them stuff. Because Wales does have... Oh no, they no longer have claims. They used to have claims. They had claims on marches and this one as well. Alright, too bad. In Oyeras, there are two small tribes with a very special arrangement. The women live by themselves, far from the men who they only allow to visit... Who they only allow to visit them a couple of times each year any boy, boy child father 
this way is returned to the father and the girls are kept by the women. If approached at any other time than disappointed, the women will defend themselves with bows and arrows. The men of the strange tribe are currently preparing for the next visit and have invited the male expedition members to join them. That sounds like a bad idea, does it? Uh, I think that sounds like a great idea. And since I want to get our colon colonization started, I'm gonna go for the Diplo Power here. Alright. So we're currently fabricating. Uh, should be all good. We need to fabricate on Wessex as well, just so we have two claims. And we can get these two provinces, and that should be awesome. can probably build some more yeah we can build one more dude I think we should I mean I know that they have a lot of guys All right go over here yes use that transport so I don't have to bother with it now there's another 3,000 men we got 12,000 we can build one more So let's build a Tercho. And North Umberland has seven troops. Wow, they have nine base stacks. That is pretty good. That really is pretty good. Okay. We have 50%. Now, I would like if Portugal would not join, and we can actually tack up here. I would like if Portugal wouldn't join. Um, but they might Especially if we give them more time to recover. I should have really um, paid attention to this and you know I should have kind of used My time and my diplomats during the peacetime. Oh, right. We cannot even declare war because we're in a regency No, oh, wait, oh we can I think we can. Even though we're in a regency, we can declare war? Hold on. I, I just... We're 12 years old, by the way. Huh. But isn't that... Like, usually that's not the way it's supposed to be, right? That's kind of odd. But oh well. Alright, go to Bordeaux and go home at war, please. We don't want you to get uh, destroyed. That's the last I want. The least. Serbia declared war on Croatia. Fine. As long as France is in there, I don't care. Oh man, but this looks like it's going to be a long time. Maybe... <sighs> We're gonna have annexed Wales by that. Which is probably not bad, but... Hmm. Take Gloucestershire. So, yeah, let's actually check if we can attack them right now. Yeah, now Portugal would join. Yeah, I... Alright, well, I guess in this case, then we can also wait. That was the only reason I really wanted to do it earlier, but alright. And uh, just fabricate on Wessex, and it should be fine. Now I'm gonna get rid of the horse right here, and hopefully that will be enough. I doubt it, though, because we're gonna get a whole lot of um, autonomy here. It's kind of annoying. Maybe we can reduce it right away, but I doubt it. <laughs> Seems like it's going faster now. Uh, Fountain of the Youth. We've had that before. And it didn't really work. Do we want to pay 40 bucks for that? No. I'd rather not. We've had that before. I don't want to do that again. It didn't work out the first time, so it's not going to work out the second time. As at least usually the case. And the Hansa declared we're on Denmark. Well, isn't that something? So we're now at war with Denmark, Holstein, Norway, Milan, Poland, Lithuania. Ah, oh, it's getting even better. Alright. Well, that is the time for us to strike. As soon as this claim is in, we're gonna wreck England. His ally, at least the Hansa, is busy. And we can do this again. Yes, we wanna learn about these women. Mm, the Amazons. Amazon. Like this big company. They have 24,000 men. Maybe it's not such a good idea. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of this. 
Maybe it's not a good idea to have my troops standing over here, although this is hills. With a good general, we might be able to defend. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. We're certainly gonna get these 3,000 men somehow. Wooded hills. Is that a better terrain modifier than just hills? No, I think it's also just negative one. Oh. Wait, hold on. Okay, he still likes us. That's good. Hopefully he'll use his troops and send them over. I doubt he will, but hopefully he, hopefully he will do it. And Wales is about to be annexed. There you go. We gain five prestige for that, and we accept their culture right away. Let's get rid of the horse, because that is very expensive. We don't want to have that. Yeah, and we actually. Wow, so e so even with these two guys with more than our force limit, that kind of does make sense. But all right, reduce autonomy in these provinces. Yep. So we should give us more force limit. We're still too over the limit, but we're kind of preparing for war. So. Yeah, I guess we can do that for now. And once we take over these two provinces, it should be fine. But yeah, we got rid of our vassal Wales. And soon enough, we'll be able to attack England. Alright, go on. Alright, so Savoy in France will help us. But we'll also have to be fighting Utrecht, Hansa, and Portugal. And obviously, what? Scotland as well? Oh, damn, I forgot about that. All right, all right. I guess we'll still have. We're gonna do it though, either way. Um, however, before we do that, where's my ship? Why is there only one ship? Oh, that's the Welsh ship. All right. Um, how about following you guys? All right. You guys get together over here in Glamorgan. And sent this guy over. So we're gonna have Savoy's and France's support. Which is definitely a good thing to have. And maybe we can uh, defend in this island. I doubt it, but we might. So there's Sweden over here. We've actually taken attrition. Um, okay, let's recruit, recruit a new general. Hey, he's not that bad. He's actually pretty good. Alright, declare war. Yep. Take Gloucestershire. And Scotland's obviously in, which is totally fine. Go to finisher. France should join. Savoy did. Okay. So did Portugal, but yeah, we have to defend here for now. How much else we can do? We might get wrecked by these guys, but I know they have another 12,000 stack. Yeah, they have more dudes coming, but this is farmlands. So maybe we can attack one of their smaller stacks. 13th of March. This is Grasslands. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that though. You know what? Just... No, this is Grasslands. Just go back. It's nothing we want. And all of a sudden, we're not no longer taking attrition. Interesting. And maybe, actually, we want to spend our navy here because this might actually make a difference. We might be able to make a difference here. We don't want the French ships to die. Ah, it's already too late, sadly. We can't fight them because we cannot fight them on our own. And building ships is gonna take a while. Damn it, Franz lost his ships. 
Ah, shit. Shit, 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 shit. That is bad. Why do they have naval superiority? I don't understand. Obviously the Hansa, but... Like, they're fighting Denmark and Sweden, are they not? No, not Sweden. Who... Who else is on their side? Um... Norway. Poland. Well, they all have no ships. Anyway, that was the end of this episode, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. It's Chief Tronka, signing off.